हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू जे सी ई ई कनेक्ट द ऑनलाइन सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स टूडे विल स्टार्ट विद कॉस्ट बेनिफिट एनालिसिस सो वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज दिस कॉस्ट बेनिफिट एनालिसिस सो दिस कॉस्ट बेनिफिट एनालिसिस और दिस कॉस्ट बेनिफिट इज अ टूल विच मॉडर्न फाइनेंशियल एनालिस्ट एडॉप्ट बिफोर अंडरटेकिंग एनी फाइनेंशियल ऑपरेशन और द कमर्शियल एक्टिविटी that is this cost break this cost benefit analysis sometimes is also called as what benefit cost analysis or benefit cost uh, analysis problem it is a systematic approach to estimate the strength and weakness of alternative used to determine options which provide the best approach to achieve the benefit while preserving the savings so the ultimate aim of business organization is to make profit as we know therefore any system in the organization must produce more benefits as compared to its cost okay as compared to the investment or uh, compared to the expenditure you have to make more benefit for organization to survive and prosper that is we can say always the benefits should be more than cost so the cost benefit analysis is done to determine how well or how poorly a plan action will turn out okay suppose you make an investment so or suppose you are planning to make an investment so when you make all the analysis of how much is the benefit you will be getting or how much is the expenditure you must make you should check which is the best option for you to select okay the analysis relies on addition of positive factors and subtraction of the negative ones to determine the net result cost benefit analysis has been established primarily as a tool for use of governments in making their social and economic decisions okay we'll see how it happens we'll see a example later so this benefit cost analysis measures the cost and benefit to the community adopting particular course of action that is example okay you can consider uh, construction of dam roadways bypass etc okay so a particular course of action wherein we can earn more okay when an investment made with benefit derived it can be said that operation is positive and viable okay so when the uh, when the benefit derived do not compensate the financial investment made it can be said that financially it is non viable and it is negative so to understand uh, this better we'll see few example okay so as we know any negative effect on organization resulting from implementation of the project is called as the cost example it may be the maintenance cost it may be the initial investment cost it may be the environmental uh, due to the environmental issues what cost we have to spend it may be due to the research and development or the labor cost okay benefit is any positive effect on an organization resulting from implementation of the project and here we can see the example such as increase in the productivity okay or else a uh, reduction in the cost in a saving time or it is also called as what uh, by an efficiency okay by increasing the efficiency will earn the profit so all these things are benefit so general uh, steps for cost benefit analysis are first one we have to specify the project clearly so specifying the project means what specification of the scope of the project up to what you are going to achieve certain accomplishment okay then we have to describe quantitatively the inputs and outputs of the project or the program then we need to estimate the social cost and benefit of these input and outputs of the project and finally we need to compare the benefit versus the cost so after comparison which is the project that we have to uh, consider will see 
so this cost benefit analysis how it is useful okay how it is useful for an individual okay as you if you want to make any investment if you have to take certain decision how it is uh, useful to your how it is useful for the company or how it is useful for the government projects we will see so this cost uh, benefit analysis is decision making about the choices for an individual they might rely on any uh, intuition a gut feel for a right choice so they decide uh, to do analysis of the choices or it may be even combination of both of these okay for a company being concerned with a profit earning capacity and income flow they may undertake a cash flow analysis or full financial appraisal of the project so you know what is this cash flow analysis and why it is important okay because always uh, in our previous lecture we have seen about the break even analysis okay they have to achieve that break even and for the government decision making for the government is much more harder as you know okay not only they expect to consider the profitability at least neutrality of the costing but must also include consideration of the social cost and benefit of their choices they also expected to act within the politician environment to satisfy the political agenda to set the government of the day and finally must comply with environmental considerations also okay thus a benefit cost analysis is a, is a process a uh, process businesses used to real analyze the decisions the business or analyst sums the benefit of the situation or the action and then subtracts the cost associated with taking that action so the other issue is like how to understand this okay why or how to decide cost benefit how to relay or how to make a decision okay for that we consider the other issues like is project worthwhile financially okay you make a financial analysis then is this the best opinion or is this the best option so how do you consider the option for that always the benefit to the cost ratio must be greater than 1 okay that means the project can be considered okay should it be undertaken at all okay that means the cost benefit okay you just compare the ratio you make a ratio if it is more than one you consider the action so the process of cost uh, cost uh, benefit analysis goes like this first identification of the cost and benefit that is we identify the cost and benefit associated with the task operation or the investment project second is we check the evaluation of the cost versus the benefit that is evaluation of the cost like tangible intangible okay you see whether it is fixed whether it is variable whether it is a direct cost whether it is an indirect cost and then benefit associated with each of the task operation and investment project investment of the project okay then you make a choice okay you select the best system which involves least cost and obviously it has to yield maximum benefits thus the benefit cost analysis as uh, i told you the ratio should be more than one so how exactly we calculate this so benefit cost ratio is always uh, the present uh, value of the expected benefit by the present value of the expected cost also we can say it like the expected uh, benefit or the benefit expected from the project to the cost of that particular project okay thus this benefit uh, cost ratio is uh, expected benefit by associated cost or or else also we consider it like the net present value that is the present value of all the expected benefits to the present value of all the associated cost so uh, if a project is at risk okay so how exactly we consider this benefit cost analysis so if the project is at the higher risk we need to continuously examine 
okay and if and if you don't and if you feel it is not worthwhile okay then we have to avoid okay but uh, once the risk is very low we identify or we should identify the risk and we should develop the actions and we can consider or uh, this routine must be there in the complete project so that your benefit is more than the cost so one example establishing a steel production plant in port community okay what uh, so to understand what are the cost and what are the benefit obviously the construction that means the amount you are spending it is a cost okay to prevent the pollution the action you are taking okay you are spending something it's a cost uh, devaluing house prices and all yeah obviously it's a cost what is the benefit the employment opportunity right it's a benefit increased port trade it's a benefit and steel for local industry that means your transportation cost and all will definitely minimize if it is localized that means it's a benefit okay so uh, at a glance we'll see what are the steps in benefit cost analysis uh so you can just go on checking the numbers first one is project goals and objective okay first we have to determine the project goals objective and also the scope of the project then we need to note down the alternatives alternatives we have seen the method of alternatives okay so if it is invested okay uh, whether uh, at what rate you will be getting it back check the various options that is available it with you then we need to list the stakeholders because stakeholders are the one who are investing for the particular project okay we need to choose which matrices to use then we determine the outcome of the cost and benefit we need to use the common currency okay suppose if you are working with rupees or uh, even if it is in the dollars convert and use it in the same currency figure out the discount rate okay the discount rate cannot be considered to make a benefit cost analysis you need to consider the original price find out the net present value of the product okay do the sensitivity analysis and then finally you need to make a decision so now we'll see the numerical regarding uh, this benefit cost analysis so this benefit cost uh, ratio method consists of comparing the equivalent net worth of the benefits to the equivalent net worth of the cost so it is expressed as benefit cost ratio this method is used to carry out the government project which results in the benefit to the public but not directly to the government example provision of the fire lightning section widening of the widening or resurfacing of the road street lightning etc it's a benefit to the public but it is a cost to the government in such cases we consider benefit to the public by the cost to the government okay uh, now sometimes uh, for the public project okay sometimes government carry out some project which results in benefit to the public but not directly to the government so in some uh, in certain situation okay in certain situation there is a possibility of some revenue occurring directly from public to the government so there we consider so there we can consider benefit cost ratio is net benefit to the public by net cost to the government and if the benefit exceeds the cost that is if the benefit cost ratio is more than 1 then project is said to justify itself and we can consider that particular decision now we'll see the numerical example okay government is planning for a government is planning for a hydroelectric project or hydroelectric power uh, project which still provide flood control industrial irrigation and recreational benefits the estimates cost and benefit of the project are the initial cost was 25 crores annual now we'll see the annual benefit receipts and cost okay the power sale receipts was rupees 1 crore industrial production profit is rupees 1.5 crore uh flood control saving is rupees 25 lakhs 
profit on additional irrigation is rupees 1.35 crore recreational benefit to public is rupees 10 lakhs operation and maintenance cost is rupees 20 lakhs if interest rate is 10 percent and life of the project is 50 years calculate the benefit cost ratio so first uh, we will check the solution ok so first you need to write all the given uh, data now in this problem uh, I have solved using annual equivalent method it can also be done or it can also be solved using the present worth method the result will be same ok so first one the initial cost given here was how much 25 crores ok now we need to calculate we need to calculate annual equivalent for this capital recovery ok so I am considering 25 crores annual equivalent to the present worth because it is an investment 10 percent is the rate of interest given and uh, the time that is given to us is 50 years so you will be getting 2 crore 52 lakhs 25 thousand as the amount now we will see how we justify or how we understand or how we understand what is benefit and what is cost now in the problem here it is given ok all these things just classify the benefit and cost separately ok so benefit to the public first one ok you are seeing the benefit to the public and cost to the government first one flood control saving obviously it is a benefit to the public so ok so that is uh, 25 lakhs ok next is profit on additional irrigation purpose obviously that is also benefit to the public then recreational benefits it is a benefit to the public recreational benefit like your parks ok your uh, environment uh, cleaning thing and all ok it, is, it comes as a recreational thing your school buildings ok government uh, benefits ok government is giving a benefit to the public so all that is considered as a recreational benefit next one is industrial production profit that is also pub benefit to the public and next cost of the power sale now you can see the cost of the power sale I am considering as what ok why I am considering it as a negative because you have to pay from your side so I am considering the amount as negative now uh, cost to the government you can see the capital recovery ok so the capital recovery whatever we have got it is a cost to the the recovery cost but it is a recovery for us but it is a cost to the government it is recovery for the public right so it is a cost to the government so I am considering it as negative operational and, and maintenance cost at regular period ok you invest you need to put some amount for uh, periodical maintenance ok so again it is considered as negative then power sale so power sale means what we are paying to the government so it is profit now you can see for uh, power sale I have I have put it as a cost ok power sale I have put it as what cost to cost of the power sale as a for a benefit to the public I have taken as a negative value because you are spending ok public is spending amount public is paying to the government and for cost of the government I have considered here as positive likewise the direct power sale by government to the public is shown both both the sides ok benefit to the public as well as the cost to the government it reduces the cost to the government also reduces the benefit to the public right thus there could be some more things like that like irrigation tax water tax sales tax ok so all this tax thing you know it will come on both the aspects now after uh, this calculation now you can see the net benefit is around uh, 2 crore 20 lakhs and net cost is 1 crore 72 lakhs 25 thousand thus now we calculate the benefit to the cost ratio it is coming as what 1.277 that is 1.3 ok and and because it uh, we know that benefit to the cost ratio should be more than 1 ok for the project to justify itself here it is 1.3 and hence this project can be 
accepted or we can conclude as the project is acceptable okay so after writing the ratio you also have to write down as uh, write down the conclusion as what the project is acceptable okay so this is uh, one small example on the benefit cost analysis okay so whatever even if the numerical are, is asked in the exam it will be a similar kind here you have to just understand the justification how we are justifying the benefit to the cost you need to understand what are the benefits to the public what are the cost to, to the government and if you understand this the uh, example or the concept is very easy thank you